Hey, I'm Sam and I do design and in the video today, I'm showing you my top three favorite features of Procreate 4.2. So I've been using Procreate 4.2 now for about one week and I've been using the new features that they brought along with it as well. And I just wanted to make this video to do a quick overview of my top favorite features from the release. There are so many features on Procreate 4.2 that I won't go into today, but if there's anything in particular that you want me to cover, let me know down in the comments below and I'll cover it in a future video. Kicking off the list today is the crop and resize feature, which is so useful because it doesn't lock you into a canvas size and you can always go through and change it later on. So within Procreate now, we've got this sketch of uh, BB-8 droid from Star Wars and the crop and resize feature is cool because I kind of feel like there's too much background going on and I just want to crop in just a little bit. So to do that, I come up to the tab over here and press canvas and then I can press crop and resize and then exactly like it says on the tin, I can now come in and crop and resize things and press done. And in the same way, I can also come in, crop and resize and add canvas as well, which I think is really useful. If you're halfway through a sketch and realize you need a slightly bigger canvas, what I used to do was just have to scale the whole sketch down. But actually being able to use the canvas and resize tool to do this is so much easier and so much better. So thanks Procreate for that. Next on the list is the Quick Shape tool, which has been completely redesigned and implemented in 4.2. It also includes the Quick Line tool now, and it means that I can do super clean sketches all within Procreate, and it's so useful. So Quick Tool is really useful if I wanna clean up a sketch like you can see here. This is something that Procreate asked me to sketch for their 4.2 release. And if I zoom in here, come and make a new layer, I've already done that. You can see that I've got this airbrush pen here. And if I wanna make this highlight here and I wanna make it really nice and tight and smooth, I can come in, make an arc shape, hold it, and then it's gonna pop it into that shape here. And then if I wanna come in and edit the arc in any way, I can press it at the top here and then just pop that into shape, nice and simple. So then I can add in all the highlights like you can see here with a nice smooth line and curve. While we're here, I'll also show you some other quick shape options so you can draw things like a really bad circle, change it into an ellipse or in a circle by pressing the buttons at the top here. You can also do a square or a rectangle by popping it into different shapes like this, polyline or rectangle. And just by pressing it at the top, uh, you can see what sort of shape it thinks you're trying to do. So you can pop it into different places like that and also triangle things like a quadrilateral, rectangle, clips, everything, polyline. So using the quick shape really helps me drawing this Canon camera for Procreate. Number three on the list is clipping masks. And it is so useful to be able to use this on the go, on the iPad. So I'm really pleased that Procreate have implemented it in 4.2. So clipping masks are really useful if you've got a solid shape color and you wanna start adding in highlights and shadows or different textures on top of that without directly influencing that layer itself. So you can see here, I've got two clipping masks set up over this main body here. And what I can do is come in, make a new layer, tap it here, press clipping mask. And then if I grab a color that I want and a brush that I want, I can start to color in on top of this layer and you can see here that it's a layer all on its own, so I can go in and edit that at whatever stage I want, and it doesn't affect the layer that it's referencing down here. So that's really useful to start adding in highlights and shadows like you can see me doing down here and along here. So that's a great feature to speed up your workflow, keep everything nice and clean, and just get everything done quicker. So there it is, guys. That's my top three favorite features of Procreate 4.2. Don't forget if there are any more features that you wanna learn more about, let me know down in the comments below. And if you learned anything in this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell button and everything else that YouTube asks you to do. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.